Why, hello everybody. This is Eric Virathaler92, aka Eric the Tyrannoceratops, once again. So it was announced the new Superman and Lois Lane for Superman Legacy. David Cromsweat, I believe. Uh, I probably got that wrong. I mean, I don't know the guy. I've never seen him in anything before. So cut me a little bit of slack, <laughs> please. And uh, I don't think I've ever seen anything but the gal playing Lois Lane was in before. So, uh, what do I think? Um, we've been down this road so many times with superhero movies. Like, oh my god, how could they cast so-and-so person as so-and-so comic book character? We've been down this road so many times. At this point, it's like, it's beating a dead horse. Um... What do I think of the casting? I think this David individual, he looks the part. That's a big component when casting Superman. They have to have that particular look. They have to have that, I'm going to save you, citizen, kind of look to them. Henry Cavill had that look. Christopher Reeve had that look. George Reeves had that look. Dean Cain had, had that look. So, yeah, you just have to have that look when you play Superman. And he has that look. So, that's a big plus. But on top of having the looks, you have to have the acting chops as well. I don't know what this guy has been in. Maybe he has been in something that, that I saw and I just didn't know it was him. Um... Look, it sucks that Henry Cavill is no longer Superman. It does suck because I actually really enjoyed his take on Superman. I wasn't ready to let him go either. Uh, I don't think anybody was. Um, it does suck. I think this might be another case where, after, similar to what happened when they rebooted Spider-Man after the Tobey Maguire movies wrapped up, People weren't ready to let go of Tobey Maguire yet, and they weren't ready to move on just yet. So I think that's the case here. And I totally get it. 100% I totally do get it. It sucks. It really does. But we don't have that control. We don't have the control who gets cast as Superman or not. And change can be hard to accept. Like, it reminds me of back when Daniel Craig was first cast as James Bond. A lot of people got upset about it, including me. I remember I was one of those people who jumped on the bandwagon and hate on it because I, I didn't think he looked the part. I, I, I didn't think he looked suave enough and I really didn't want to let go of Pierce Brosnan being, being James Bond. I really wanted Pierce Brosnan to, to come back. And I remember one day when I was at lunch with my brother and my dad, coincidentally, my dad looks like Pierce Brosnan just by a huge coincidence. But yeah, uh, I remember I brought that up to both of them. My, my older brother said this, who cares? And my dad's, and so let me backtrack. I was mentioning how all these people are upset that Pierce Brosnan isn't coming back. And how Daniel Craig is the, the new Bond and people are upset about that. My dad said this, had a very profound impact on my entire life. He said, yeah, well, maybe those people just need to accept change. And uh, right then, right, right then, and right there and right then, I realized, hey, he has a point. Change can be really hard for people to accept. It absolutely can be. But hey, sometimes change can be a blessing and 
disguise. And when, when, when you can't control change, the best thing you can do is adapt to it. Adapt it, accept it, and move on. Who knows, maybe someday we'll get like an equivalence to No Way Home with Superman. Like a multiverse Superman movie. With Henry Cavill, uh, this new guy, Dean Cain, and every living actor who's alive who has played Superman. <laughs> Sorry, I'm just dropping my dog off at Doggy Day, Karen. He's excited. <laughs> but yeah, uh, I'm confident that these these two individuals will do a fine job. I wasn't ready for a Superman reboot either, but we don't have that control. So anyways, that's all I got. <laughs> My dog's begging to go to doggy daycare. So see y'all later. Take care. Bye-bye now.